Hey guys, John from FlyMikeHelpful.com and today I'm here to talk to you about landing a tailwheel aircraft. First thing we've done is reduce our power back to about 1500 RPM. I'm going to go ahead and trim here for our landing position. My approach speed is about 65 miles per hour and the most important thing here is airspeed. We're doing a wheel landing today and what that is, is getting the main wheels on first with the tail still flying and then eventually, as we roll down the runway and lose speed, we'll let the tail drop. So, maintaining airspeed is going to be our best friend. Keeping the airplane right at 65 all the way down to the runway. If we go a hair over, well, on the champ, it's not really going to be the end of the world. So, we could do 65 to 70, somewhere between 60 and 70. Below 60, it's not going to be a great day. Venice traffic, silver champ, left face runway 23, Venice traffic. So, just leaving power right where it is. The airplane comes down very nicely. It does not drop out of the sky at all. It's got a nice big old wing. It'll glide forever. We're looking. We're clear on final. We're going to go ahead and line up with the runway. And this is not an approach that you want to slam dunk in on a wheel landing. Our whole goal here is a zero descent rate. Getting the aircraft to touch the ground, just barely kiss it with the main wheels. As soon as the tires kiss, I'll throttle back to idle. I'll be pushing the stick forward actually a little bit, which is pretty different for most nose dragger pilots, and keeping the tail flying in the air. I'm going to go ahead and reduce power here to bring my, air, my altitude down. Venice traffic, Silver Champ, final runway 23, Venice traffic. Airspeed is right on, 65 miles per hour, all the way down to the ground. I'll actually be bumping in a little power just before I touch to cushion my descent. So I'm coming down at a good rate here. To cushion that descent rate, I'm going to add a little power just before the main wheels touch. It's kind of a low approach procedure, just flying the aircraft low down the runway. And now we do have a little bit of a crosswind here from the left, so I'm going to be touching the left main wheel first, just like you would in a nose dragger airplane. Add a little power here to keep my airspeed up and keep my descent rate low. Start to arrest that descent with power. Just working it down the runway here and right about there is the main wheel. We got one wheel down, power out, holding the airplane there, two wheels down, keeping the stick over to the left, pushing the stick forward a little bit. And it seems like the airplane's tilted because it is. It's got long movement oleo struts. So those oleo struts have a long throw there. And I'm working forward. My follow through on this landing is actually to get the stick all the way over to the left and all the way forward since we have that left crosswind and I'm trying to get the tail off the ground in there. The tail sets down on its own. I bring the stick all the way back, pin the tail to the ground, and that's it. We've landed. Now that whole time I was really dancing on my rudder pedals to keep the nose going perfectly straight. That is the biggest key here. Touching down with any sort of yaw will make the airplane want to veer off the side of the runway or possibly ground loop. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video, and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below, and remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.